Hi guys. Striking SUV behind me. Let's check out what is this SUV. Okay, let's check out the key. Very unique and very nice key. Okay, with the Neta logo at the back. Alright, let's check out the front of the car. Beautiful, striking, uh, kind of like Star Wars-like face. A little bit like a Honda HRV in the front, fascia. Very nice LED, very slim line LED lights, a bit like the Jaguar F-Pace. And then you come down, you get your main headlights. That's the DRL, eh? sorry. <laughs> you get the very nice setting chrome, smoke setting chrome, uh, finishing at the side. And then at up front, you get matte plastic. So this is uh, Neta V comes in three range. Let me show you. There are three range. So first one is 400 Comfort. Second is 400 Luxury and third is 500 Luxury. This is the 500 Luxury and pricing is as below. 136,000. Comes with 8 years warranty for your battery, 8 years warranty for your electric motor, 8 years warranty for your ECU, and then uh, 5 years warranty for full vehicle, 5 years for general parts, and 10 years for body warranty. So very uh, daring warranty given. <laughs> And uh, this is the Neta X500, Neta X500. Um, you only need to either check out the 400 Luxury or the 500. The 400 Comfort is basically bare unit, which is not very attractive. Lah. With the 8,000 difference for each spec, um, the Luxury 4 or 500 would be a choice. Okay, check out the wheels. Wheels are fairly standard, comes with uh, some... <laughs> You know SS2 Chaoyang? Uh, this is SS2 Chaoyang tyres. So, uh, radial RP76, um, 255, 60, 18. Okay, uh, diamond cut with a little bit of black colour. And uh, at the side, this is the side profile of the car. What do you get? You get fairly nice indentations up front here. And then you get a very strong shoulder line all the way connecting to the lights at the back. Very striking lights also. Reminds me a bit of the MG, right? Uh, look at this. This is 3D, yeah? 3D. Check it out. So, reminds me really of the MG, yeah? And this also gives a bit of the Porsche Audi vibe with the light bar and at the bottom you get standard uh, bumpers with a little bit of smoke satin finishing and a reflector at the bottom so this is your X logo it comes with a reverse camera and you get the spoiler fairly uh, unique curvature at the top coming down and then you get that a bit weird but funny but nice um, this the roof rail is in uh, gunmetal grey but it's not really the satin type this is the gloss type so it's probably uh, painted on sprayed painted on check out the roof let's see whether it's panoramic roof yeah it's kind of a panoramic roof but not uh, fully to the back it's so only about almost three quarter of the back seat. Okay, uh, check out the build quality. Okay, uh, door. Okay, uh, we're gonna compare this with your MG EV. Compare this with your BYD Auto 3. Compare this with your um, yeah. That's about the two cars within this price range of. 136,000. This car is priced at 136. And um, leather, very soft leather, very nice stitching. Eh? Check out the stitching, boy. You get gold door handles. Poor first car with a gold door handle. But uh, a bit, a bit on the flimsy side. A bit on the flimsy side. 
but it is a very, very marked or uh, significant improvement over the other car. If you have not seen the other car, that's the Neta V, the smaller EV or the cheapest EV in Malaysia at one time. Eh? Uh, a little bit of sweet. This, uh, what color is this? Is it peach? Probably peachy. Peachy in color. You get your very unique uh, window toggle. Hey. Oh, okay, the car is on. Sorry, I closed the window. I opened the window. So it's very nice. Pull and press, uh, pull and push. And the door cut, plastic. You don't get door seals, uh, you get a bit of plastic here. Electronic power seats. Okay, uh, leather quality, fairly nice, like your Proton X70 kind of uh, Napa leather. And uh, I'm sure this car has got seat uh, ventilation. And then you get bucket seats. Bucket seats, you get airbags here. Okay, this is your cockpit, check it out. Very nice. Let's get inside. Uh, check out the pedals. Normal pedals, eh? And... <laughs> uh, let me move the seat back a bit. So the steering is not round, it's not square. It's kind of, I don't know. And uh, there's a weird... There's a weird place for your finger placement. And this doesn't go all the way. So it's a piece by itself. And then this is a piece by itself with yellow or gold uh, highlights. So the steering has got gold highlights. The meter has got gold highlights. And then you get your gear lever here, your PRND. And then this is your signal stop and your wiper. So let's close the door again. Let's try. Hey, okay, as I close the door, um, the seat is moved up, so there is a bit of uh, seat adjustment. This is your center console, and uh, why I say the 400 Comfort is not worth buying, there is no wireless charger. Only the 400 Luxury and 500 Luxury comes with a wireless charger. So look at, oh, check out the Econ Vents boy in gold. A little bit too gaudy for me, even though I love gold, but uh, this gold, uh, or rather this... Uh, what do you call it? This shade of gold is not really my my vibe. Lah. But you get mega big screen here. And uh, you can adjust almost everything. And also the comfort mode, uh, the comfort spec doesn't come with ADAS. So this comes with ADAS. You got front collision warning. Okay, you get uh, emergency lane keep, you get rear cross traffic alert, you got door open warning, uh, you got um, automatic emergency braking, you got cruise car uh, Cruise control, ACC plus pilot, you got emergency lane keep assist, you got blind spot, you got overspeed alert, IACC and speed uh, limit update prompt. So fairly, fairly complete. Lighting, you can adjust your lighting. Uh, you can see the energy mode connection for your Bluetooth. So this is your um, TPMS, your vehicle maintenance. And you can fairly can play with the camera. Oh, okay. So you can adjust your left or right mirror via this toggle. So let's try. Let's try. Okay, it's actually moving. Look, check it out. <laughs> so I'm actually using this button. Oh, but the mirror is only to left and right. I cannot go down. Oh, I can't. So you have to adjust the human up and down. I don't know. Maybe they would have already found the perfect angle. Right? So on the left side, check out. Check out the adjustment via the, the steering. So cool. Um, what's the quality here? Leather, leather wrap on the dashboard. This is a bit hard. Eh, no. It's quite soft. Sorry. <laughs> uh, glove box, soft open but there is no felt inside um, acceptable and a, a significant improvement over the previous car i would say in terms of quality in terms of build in terms of uh, hey how do i open oh yeah big 
super mega big uh, glove box there's a nice compartment here for you to keep your things so when you actually move the gear lever to the front you free up the space here which is nice and then this is your rear view mirror for those of you who have not uh, subscribed please press share like subscribe and this is the uh, okay I'm just checking out whether there are lights yeah there is this is the modern type so I won't open all the way because uh, somebody has already booked this car and this color is no more for sale so sorry for you guys who are late but check out the uh, architecture of the car look eh? from here you go all the way you connect to the front all the way and then you come back very nice very nice reminds me of the sonata uh, which did this so you see when i moved my seat hey, when i open the door the seat is moved back for ingress and egress very nice uh, build quality wise this versus the ato uh, comparable except for the door door feels slightly slightly lighter slightly lighter than the byd ato and the mg um, the rear door opens very very wide very very wide and it's a very big door eh? check out the back this is the back so let's go inside uh, quality wise remains the same as the front which is very good very classy and at 136,000 very good <laughs> check out the seat the le uh, leather seats very very nice very very plush soft and fine Okay, you get USB-A and USB-C and then you get that gaudy gold color trim again and you get a very small uh, compartment to put your phone at the bottom when you're charging Yeah, so you get this um, light you get your oh my god handle you get a black roof liner and then the panoramic roof when you open is only up till here so where is here it's not even uh, at this at the bottom of the seat let me show you this way yeah so barely barely covering the the back seat but it's good enough if i'm seated at the back i would prefer the panoramic roof to be like this because the roof is actually very very hot but one blind spot your c pillar there is no there is no um, mirror or uh, glass okay so kind of a blind spot fairly big car so i don't know maybe the camera will help right uh, we we don't have a chance uh, because there's only one salesperson here so we can't go for a test drive on another day when you actually make this video viral then probably i go look for a car to test drive and tell you how it feels versus the byd auto 3 versus the mg versus the hopefully proton emas soon <laughs> So, uh, comparatively, quality-wise versus the BYD Auto, the seat, uh, the leather quality here feels much finer, much finer. You also get a, uh, what do you call that, a tweeter. Uh, let's close the door. Fairly nice insulation, a bit of felt, a bit of uh, rubber, and still a bit lacking, but very very uh, much improved versus the other car yeah so at the back let's check out the back uh, okay how good space wise um not really great fairly uh, usable you can have one you can have one big luggage and then uh, but there is a very big, very deep compartment down here. Check it out. So there's actually two layers. You can actually lower this down. So you get your power socket here. Okay, there are lights here. And then there's a hook. And that's about it. So let's check the inside out. Yeah, this is how it looks like from the back. Yeah. Ah, so this is Kenny. He wants to bring me for a test drive. Any one of you interested to buy uh, or to see or to test drive the Neta, whether it's Neta V or Neta X, come and check him out. He's uh, very near to Jalan Kuching. Eh? He's very near to Jalan Kuching. And uh, down there is actually the Batu Cave uh, roundabout. So this is your Neta 
可以可以前邊嘛？喺前邊有咩？哦，可以睇啊嘛。OK， he's gonna open the front for us. So check out the lights, boy. Check out the lights. Very nice clamshell, kind of. Look, not really clamshell around it. Oh, so you have your motor here, your electric motor up front. So, very simple. Check it out. Check out the inside. Yeah. So there is no insulation up front. It's just electric motor. Doesn't make much sound. So very nice. Uh, that's all the walk around for this video. So we are going to go hop in the test drive car and I'm going to go for a test drive. Check out the test drive video. I'll tell you how it feels versus the MG versus the uh, BYD Auto 3. So see ya. Bye bye.